Popular filmmaker, comic actor, and stand-up comedian Ayo Makum, simply known as AY, has explained that one of his major objectives for the currently trending Netflix special, Spotting the Difference, is to break the pigeon stereotype attached to Nigerian comedians. Speaking of the back of the premiere of the long stand-up session in Atlanta, AY explained that Nigerian comedians are generally believed to be unable to hold an international audience because of their delivery is usually in the local Nigerian parlance and catchphrase. Jesus. He now hopes that his successful show will help make a point for him and his colleagues. Hear him. Hey, you know this guy? Yeah. You know him? See, no one knows you. Okay, so it's time to chill with the big boy so you can run kitty kitty and run kata kata. So let me show you how the thing goes. What? Don't worry, this is so. Oh my god! This guy, he's a big movie star in Africa. I told you. Let yeah. me remember his name. Oh, 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 oh. Jim Ike, man. Man, my mind, How you doing, bro? It came as a result of people uh, beginning to look at uh, comedians as uh, dropouts. Uh, the reason why we can't cut across to the international market uh, is because we are just uh, limited with. Uh, you know, speaking, using Pidgin English to tell most of our jokes. You know, the broken English is the language that uh, our people are used to hear when you want to, you know, uh, give jokes. And it becomes even more interesting uh, for them to enjoy the jokes more because you are, you know, breaking the English down, you know, by speaking, using uh, broken English uh, to give you a narration. Thank you for more. Now, are you going with that? I can know you are a rapper. Yes! The shooter! This happened on September 7th, 1996. After the shooter finished, even Notorious B.I.G. He didn't even reach one year later. What did happen to Notorious B.I.G.? March 9th, the same way that they give to back. They give her two. As a matter of fact, it sounds more interesting when you break it down, you know. But then it has formed a major limitation for comedians from this part of the world so every time we get to travel every time we get to meet you know our foreign counterparts they usually would make reference to the fact that oh we would have you know love to have you guys be part of this gig but the language barrier wouldn't let us get you guys involved so and i said to myself come on we do a lot of corporate events even in nigeria and then when we do corporate events we don't go there and start speaking all the pidgin or broken english we we go corporate and we'll go all the way when we anchor events we we'll go all the way and make it look very corporate for our clients to enjoy the the, the benefits of having us you know to do gigs Guess what? I'm not going to sit here this time and have her referred to me as small. She's not talking about you personally, okay? She's talking about your reach. She's talking about how many people know you, the markets that know you, and where you're at in this world. What we are talking about is taking you global, making this brand a worldwide brand. So for that reason, it's okay, yeah, I'm going to do like a one hour special. And, and guess what? Just because I was breaking out of the, the norm of what... Uh, we you know are used to in this part of the world it became an attraction for netflix to say okay uh based on this i think we can have this guy uh come on board and uh you know be on the netflix platform and even create a better opportunity for for others because i know that 80 to 85 percent of nigerian comedians are very well schooled you know even more than every other sector in the entertainment industry but a lot of people when they hear you speak pidgin english on stage they are just quick to just uh judge and believe that you you are limited like that so i mean it, this was a perfect op opportunity to to prove it and is working for us now and guess what uh, in no time, all our major concerts, uh, concerts are going to be, I mean, in uh, proper English because we are all looking for the same international market that uh, uh, the likes of Bonaboy, Whiskey, Davido, they, they've already captured it. I mean, representing us just because they, they, there is that communication uh, that works. Even if uh, music is a universal language, in between you can, 
you can fix in your pidgin english like i did with my uh uh a comedy special and that will not be an opportunity for the world to learn your your own language but you must create the balance so i'm excited about that one how many people know you the markets that know you and where you're at in this world what we are talking about is taking you global making this brand a worldwide brand anyway when i said you were small i meant in your outreach a global legacy you need to think bigger you need to bring the ay brand to america Please welcome 